A magical retelling of the classic fairy tale The Snow Queen is on at the Old Rep this Christmas. And all this week, we're checking in behind the scenes of this fantastic production. This time, we're with Team Tech, chatting all things lighting design. It's literally how you see the play. It's kind of like shoes. Everyone has to wear shoes. But the type of shoes you wear make a huge difference, you know. Are they comfy? Do people take you seriously? Are they... Is it useful for the things that you're trying to do? And so you're trying to make those kind of decisions of when to make changes in order to pace the play properly, a lot of, like, the feel of whether anything's coming rapidly or, you know, long and drawn out or beautiful or closed down or opened out. It's those kind of decisions that lighting affects, really. Presumably it affects the audience's mood and the way they feel, the way they interpret the show as well. There's a saying that 99% of the people don't notice the lighting, but 100% are affected by it. So for this show, we're looking at particular effects to do with beams of light within haze, I'd say is the main challenge. So because ice is this thing that is solid and you can touch it, but also it melts and it changes within the seasons and stuff, I felt a huge affinity with it. So one of the big motifs that we've looked at is lights and reflected off mirrors. So, for instance, there's a moment in the play, if you know the story, then someone gets a shard of glass in that eye. And we're realising that on stage by shining a huge beam of light into a mirror, and then the mirror shines it into her face. So that's kind of the concept behind it. And then in terms of realisation, what you need is you need a lot of haze in the air, like a fine smoke smoke type thing, in order to catch the beams of light. You need particular angles for the light and you need a high contrast. So we're talking about how do you create a black backdrop for effects like this but still white for open scenes we go to a forest and we need to have all these snowy trees around so the answer to that is a gauze we've got this big black gauze and what that means is it's a sheet of fabric that has holes in it and when you shine light from the front then you see all of the fabric but when you shine light behind it and not on the sheet then it disappears and you see the uh, see the cloth behind it and you can produce kind of magical effects that way this sounds absolutely incredible. Oh, I cannot is. wait to see this. <laughs> what are the facilities like at BOA and at the Old Rep for you to be able to do your job really, really well? So, I mean, I love the Old Rep Theatre. I remember going there as a kid and seeing, like, James and the Giant Peach was a kid's show I saw there. It's pretty magical being able to go back and, you know, realise what uh, realise stories that I'm excited about on stage for everyone else. Normally, when you want to change the colour of the light, then you say, oh gosh, it doesn't want to be blue, it wants to be green. And you have to go and you have to cut some gel and someone has to get up on a ladder and swap it out. But with the advent of moving lights and intelligent lights, they're called, then we're able to just at a push of a button say, oh, actually, I'm going to press the blue button now. And it turns blue instead of green. So in that way, the facilities are really good for me to be able to move my ideas around. The Snow Queen is showing until the 30th of December with another sneak peek right here on Birmingham TV tomorrow.